Boom. We are live, you guys. It's Bryce McKinley, Coach Sharpen. You know what time it is. It's Thursday, June 11th. We're halfway through 2020, and we've had enough, you know what, to have about 10 years packed into these six months now. And uh, I'm excited to be on here today. I've been, I just told you guys right before we went live, I've been selling all day, talking to sellers, talking to buyers. I had a little networking lunch and learn this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> Just super, super excited because all that set aside, you guys know dang well, I would much rather be on this call than trying to do all that other stuff. But if I didn't do all that other stuff, we wouldn't be able to have what we have. So with that said, we are going to jump in here. I want to hear about some wins. Vic, you already shared a win a, a little bit with us on your dials today. And so I would love to uh, hear a little bit more about what that looks like. Anybody else have a win that they want to uh, share with us on the call? And if you're watching this live, like click the link and join us. It's Thursday Q and A. Vic, you got a win? Share with us what you just said you did today. Uh, today, I uh, I was feeling kind of weird, but I still pushed through and got on the dialer and started making some calls. Uh, made so far, I took a break now to get on the call. So I made 204 out of that. I got to talk to 21 people. And out of that, I got a weird land lead, um, uh, that, uh, sister gave it to me and gave me the brother's number. So he gave me a piece of land that he needs to sell. He's desperate as hell to sell it. So got one lead out of it. Nice. Nice. That's a huge win. That's a huge win. Yeah. I don't know where Lee Jones is at, but I'm going to speak on his behalf. Lee Jones is dealing with the historic house. Never thought that uh, he wasn't really comfortable or familiar with how it works being in like the two, you know, 1.8 to $2 million price point. And uh, Lee Jones has got a deal. The seller's like, I want 900, I think it was 900 or 800,000. And I'm like, ARV is $2 million. It probably needs 100 to 120,000 in a rehab. Dude, that's a home run. Like, don't even hesitate. Send the contract. So I'm going to speak on behalf of Lee Jones in the academy. That was a huge win. Him and I talked briefly last night and again this morning. And uh, he's, hopefully he's locking it up. He said he was going to send it out this afternoon. And uh, – yeah, when he gets that deal, that's going to be a, easily a eighty to hundred thousand dollar assignment. I know Vic's over there shaking his head. He already knows that's uh, in the Winnetka Heights area here in South Dallas. So literally, he's like, I couldn't find any comps. I'm like, you want the good news or the better news? The house directly across the street, same corner lot, just sold like six months ago for two million dollars. I'm like, you don't find a better comp than that. So. Yeah, he got he got a home run right there and laid up to him. So kudos for Lee Jones. That's that's a huge deal. That'll pay for a couple of coaches and a couple of softwares that won't do nothing for you without a process, right? <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm feeling a little ornery today? <laughs> Gazim, you and I get to catch up tomorrow, but in the meantime, like share some wins with us, man. How's your week going? Week is uh week is going well. I've been uh, I've been consistent, you know. I've talked to uh, I've talked to some sellers. Um, I think I'm having somebody go down to uh, do a house inspection, take pictures, and a property tomorrow. So that's a, that's a win, and we'll see what what comes from that. So so far, I've been been, been fairly consistent every day with the calls, and uh, looking to get something done hopefully this week with uh, the pictures it. tomorrow. I love it. That's a, we're, we'll, we'll go in deeper tomorrow on our one-on-one -on -one call. I'm excited to talk more about that. That's a huge win though, man. Good for you. Good for you. Christina. No, you're on mute. Mike, you're already off mute. Tell us your win this week, my friend. Other than that beautiful sunrise picture you posted in our group. Yeah, I, I that I actually, um, I actually got up every single morning this week at 5 a.m and walk down to the beach, mile and a half, watch the sunrise, 
and then walked my fat ass back the mile and a half <laughs> and got to sit there for a little while and meditate. And it was nice. And, um, you know, I, 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 I sent out messages to a couple of different friends and stuff like that. Just appreciative, like gratitude. Hey, I'm just thinking about you. And, you know, I just want to know, let you know, I love you and blah, blah, blah. And just sent up maybe about six or seven of those every morning. And, uh, you know, just to let people know that, that I appreciate them, you know, I think that's a, a positive thing. Um, well, as far right. as, as far as business is concerned, uh, Hold on. before you talk about the business, like you've got to conquer your morning before you can conquer your day. And the fact that you have gotten up consistently every single day, 5 p 5 AM or earlier and taken that mile and a half walk and watch the sunrise. You should be super proud of yourself, man. That's a huge win. Oh, Is yeah. 100%. 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about it. I'm, I'm going to try to do 66 days in a row. Mm. A challenge. So we'll see. see I'm going to hold you to that, bro. You'll see my fat ass out in the rain. Well, this sunrise ain't that good, but. <laughs> <laughs> I Here's what I need you to do, Mike. <laughs> Picture. Picture each morning, like find something small on the beach that stands out at you, that shows you that the world is so much bigger than us. Find, hear me out. Something small that shows that the world is so much bigger. It might be something that floated up on the beach or maybe a quick live stream like Gazim does every morning from the beach, like just rubbing it in our faces that real estate can get you to beachfront property. Like I'm okay with that motivation, bro. But I'm going to ask that you, that I hold you accountable by asking you to do a quick two minute or less live, or even if it's 30 seconds or a picture of your morning walk. Can you do that for us, brother? Yeah, for sure. 100%. You got 65 more of those to go. Yep. Yep. All right, bro. I love it. Talk about your business. Six, six, 61. I don't know, no, no, four. So it'd be 60, 62. You made up to model. I'll take two. Yeah, Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> Give, give Gazim some competition there. I mean, he's, that man's a rock boy, let me tell you. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That's what uh, it he, takes. He, he, he shamed me into doing this, let me tell you. He's part of the motivation. The part of the reason why it's there is because of him. See, That's what him. I love about this community. Even when we don't have the whole tribe on these calls, like you guys are working behind the scenes, helping each other, holding each other up. I love that you said that, Mike. Thank you for yeah. that. One well, tip, like power nap. Don't forget yeah. about the power naps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what they call that. I'm just like, damn, yeah, man. I, 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 usually, right about now. Yesterday, it was right about now. Next thing you know, I'm like this. Oh, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> but now you see, today I'm prepared. I got my second cup of coffee, so we're good to go. Um, so as far as business is concerned, um, I got a, a takeover, a payment deal that that I am just about there. Um, the sellers agreed. I have money in place to take the deal down and I have to bridge the gap of about $10,000. So we're waiting for her bank to send off the payoff statement. And once the payoff statement comes, then we finish our final negotiation. So I'm assuming that next week that should take place. Um, I'm hoping that over the weekend, cause she put that request in last Friday. So it usually takes about five to seven days for the bank to get a payoff statement back to them so hopefully maybe maybe to, to tomorrow she'll get it back and if not it'll be like monday or so so hopefully by next wednesday or so i should be under contract with that i love it i love it that's a huge win man congratulations yeah, yeah place for 230 now now my question to you lee jones he should he, he should rehab that fucking place and sell for two million dollars <laughs> Lee Jones, you just heard your fellow Academy member call you out, bro. Like, let's go. I'm telling you, I'm getting I'm getting this place for 230. And and it's like comps in the area are like 330. So I'm gonna put in like about 40. And after commission of like sixteen thousand dollars, you know, I, I'm looking at a nice little payday there. You know, and I'm only paying 10% of my money. So it, it's it's, it's a nice little, a, a nice little. So if I'm hearing you right, and I think that I am, you're not using any of your own money and you're going to make about 60 to 70 grand on that deal. Yeah. Probably about 40 something. Yeah. But yeah, not a oh, yeah, piece. That's right. 
Yeah, yeah. I got it for you. I love it. Yeah. What's up, Maria? What's up, Graham? Vanessa? Lucy, I see you guys watching. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to click the link up above and join us live. Yeah, so Lee Jones, you heard the man. Mike's calling you out. Yep, dust off that tool boat, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Big's over here like, hey, we're in the same market. Let's let's JV this deal. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, wow. Yeah, it's a good deal. To- do I have to fly my fat ass out to Dallas? I'll build that son of a... <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. How did he get that deal? I, I kind of missed that. How did he get, get that? I don't recall how he got it, to be honest with you. I, I believe, actually, he uh, he took some free trial of, of some software. He talked about it on our call on Tuesday. And uh, I believe it was one of those where that came through that uh, lead source or that dialer from the list that he bought or something. I don't remember. So that would be a question. Maybe, uh, maybe you guys bust his chops in the group over on the other side and say, you know, Hey, I hear you got a deal. We celebrated without you. So. Yeah, exactly. What up Jackie? Miss you lady. Long time. No see Bernie, Vic, Christina share with us a win. Christina, you come on, lady. <laughs> a win would be that um, throughout this week, like Monday through yesterday, I just, it was just bad. I wasn't feeling it and I wasn't feeling good. That happens to me sometimes. I just don't feel good. But um, today I woke up and I felt great and I made uh, quite a bit of calls, talked to some people, got some leads. Um Today was a very happy day for me. I was like, oh, finally I'm getting a hold of people. So, and I've got a meeting with an investor tomorrow at one o'clock. We're going to go out to eat. And I got, um, I talked with a realtor who wants to talk about working together. And then I also got a number of a realtor uh, that my mom was friends with. And she works in DFW, so I'm going to be contacting her to see if we can work together. Um, I think she will. I met her face-to-face before, so I think that's a good option there for me. So today I'm happy. That's a win. I love it. And I'm feeling good. That's a win. Being happy and feeling good is definitely a win. That's half the battle. With everything that's going on in life outside of what we can control, that's a huge win. That's a huge win. So I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Chester Downs, I love and appreciate you, my man. That's the quickest way to get removed out of the group by uh, spamming and uh, doing stuff like that. So I appreciate you, man. Just uh, be careful. Meanwhile, Bernie, what's your win for this week, brother? I appreciate you. I got my lawnmower sold. <laughs> hey, that's a win, man. That's a win. Actually, it is because when we lived in our house in Shreveport, we had three acres. So for like the first 15 years we lived in this house, all I had was a, a little 42-inch mower to, to ride. So if I didn't get off, it took me about three hours to cut the shit. Well, about two or three years before we moved, my father passed away and I came into a little bit of money and I told my wife, you know what? Screw it. I'm going and buying a 60 inch zero turn mower. So I went and I bought it. Well then like two or three years later, her boss comes in and tells her, Oh, by the way, we're shutting our doors and you're losing your job. We live now. It took me like 12 minutes to cut my yard with it. So it was way too big. You speed, speed, speed grass cutting, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, I mean, it was way too big. So I just finally decided to get rid of my baby. It's all good. Those are wins that we can all celebrate with you, big or small. A win is a win is a win. So it's 20 after you guys. I've got a friend of mine joining us here in like 30 or 40 minutes because I just partnered with the company as a concierge service 
Uh, I think I've talked to one or two of you guys about this, like when you close your deals, helping your clients like transfer things and do stuff like that. Uh, she just messaged me and asked if, if uh, it'd be all right. I'm like, hey, why not? So uh, Monica's going to jump in here in like 20 or 30 minutes. You guys definitely got to hear this. It's going to be on for the replay as well. Uh, we've implemented this into both our investment company and our brokerage. And it just, it made sense. So I'm going to let her come in and kind of share some things, how you guys can make a little extra money on the side with every deal that you do. And so why not? Right. <clears throat> so with that said, it's 20 after five, let's dig into some meat and potatoes. Let's talk about your business. What questions do you guys have, or what do we need to work on together to kind of sharpen the tools that you've got and get you honed in and get you taken another step forward? And go. I had a question. Go ahead, Vic. One. So I guess well, one of my struggles that I'm trying to figure out how to solve is I'm getting, um, they're not inbound leads, but I'm like, I'm pulling my foreclosure list, right? Stuff that's going on foreclosure. That's where I've made most of my money. So I pull it every day. One of the problems I'm running to is finding good numbers or how to get with them or find them. That's my first problem. The second problem I'm running into is some of them are deceased. So how do I find the next diff kit? Mm, that's a great question. And, and so that's been kind of my, like I'm seeing a lot of decent deals that, you know, if I can go, uh, get hold of them, that'd be great. But I'm running into two problems and I haven't been able to find a solution. So I figured I asked the collective. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. And I'm open to hearing other people's opinion as well. I know that uh, Mike's got some tools that that uh, he's used and, and, and maybe Bernie can share share some light. Uh, but I'll tell you this. Number one, hands down, I got to go with my guy, Stephen Neville, right? Like he's got pretty powerful information and you guys get a discount for being a part of the academy so if you go back into our inner circle our private group and search his name and he's been on as a guest speaker a couple of times you can set up an appointment or if you're already connected with them just let them know you're in the academy and uh, he can skip trace for you he's also doing some of that data uh, next to Ken and deceased so he can pull a little bit deeper. Uh, so that would be my number one go-to. I would go talk to him. Um, okay. That's what he does for a living. Number two, you can also pull a, a probate affidavit, like depending on what county you're going into, Vic. So if you go into like mm -hmm. Fort Worth, Collin County, Denton County, Dallas County, uh, when you pull those lists, you can not only pull the foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, foreclosures, you can also pro pull the probate, which is a mm -hmm. great list as well, and scrub them against each other and look for the duplicate. Because a lot of times, what most people don't realize is that probate is not just uh, like foreclosures. It's not just uh, deceased, things like that. But it also is like divorced. It's, you know, affidavits of airship, all of those types of things. And so you can pull that probate list and scrub it against that or reach out to like Crystal at the title company. She can pull uh, uh, records of deceased and things like that. And she can she can pair them up, too. And that might actually be a little you know less expensive for you, depending on how big the list is that you have that you need to scrub it against. But those are I mean, there's two or three different options okay. that provide the same information. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Another good option, um, you know, my, my aunt passed a little while ago, and so I got like a little paper in the mail from her attorney saying, hey, you know, this, uh, your aunt passed and, you know, she left you in her will and here's all the assets and this, that, and the other thing. Um, so, so um, and my, also my, my realtor friend, she gets about maybe four deals a month from one attorney. So, so I would say reach out to, to attorneys that handle this and just kind of create a relationship with them. So that way, if you tell them, hey, any deal that comes across your table that needs to be sold quickly, I'll, I'll throw you an extra 500 bucks your way. Right. 
and uh, and they'll be more than happy to. They'll definitely think of you and and definitely pass it over to you, especially if they know that you can get rid of the property quick, which is the key. That's what they want to do is they want to get rid of the property quick, you know, or they want the family to get rid of the property quick. So so that would be that would be my suggestion. Or or you can skip trace as well, but that's you know that's a little costly. If you go with the attorney, you can you can just take them out to lunch and cultivate a relationship and but basically it's kind of free, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, and I mean, I've skip traced them and I'm still, you know, I'm just eating, like, they die. so the numbers I'm getting is their previous numbers. So now I'm like, okay, you're giving me, re so I need to find the relatives. That's what I'm working, you know, because the skip tracing is not giving me that. So I was like, there must be another way to well, do this. Talk to Steve, Vic, but also yep. rather than going through, um, like, because that's just going to be a one-off. It's not going to be a list. It sounds like you've right. got two or three or five and a big list. I would go to like a people search, like true people search, like one of those one-off services, because unlike real estate skip tracing, where they just focus on names, phone numbers, and emails mm -hmm. and addresses, those other services provide you with multiple tools, next of kin and things like that. Okay. And uh, I mean, you find... Bob, whatever's, you know, nephew. Well, guess what? Hey, nephew, James, whatever his name is, you know, I've been trying to get in contact with Bob. It's my understanding that he deceased. Is that right? You know, boom. Yeah. He died a year and a half ago. And oh, wow. I, and I would always use the place of leverage. Like, man, I would, I've talked to him a little bit about that property over on one, two, three main street. Does he still own that property? Notice the tonality. I'm creating that curiosity. Like, who is this? Why is this guy calling? Why is he searching me out? And because he's not attached emotionally to that deal, guess what? He's like, oh, no, that's my aunt. You got to talk to my aunt. Oh, great. I'm glad you shared that with me, man. It's, it's no big deal. What's her number? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so I would I would go that route too. I mean, if it's if it's not yeah. a list, I misunderstood you. So if it's not a list, no, I, I would just go to one of those private services that give you two or three next to kin, and you can do it for free, right? Find four or five next to kin and mm -hmm. get their names and phone numbers from people search or whatever white yeah. pages, and then call their next to kin and just be like, man, trying to get a hold of Bob. Do you know how I can get a hold of him? Oh gosh, and then just rack him. He died. Yeah. Oh, that's frustrating. How long ago was that? And now all of a sudden you're having a conversation. Well, who is this? Well, you know, my name's Vic, and we talked about the house over there. We were working on a project, whatever, whatever. What up, DJ Thielen? I see you jumping in here, man. You should jump in and live with us and say hi, brother. But yeah, Vic, I would just, if it's just a one off, I would just call those next to Ken and just ask them some defeating questions and create that curiosity with the conversation and boom, that, that's, that's going to be a lot quicker, easier way to go about that versus trying to skip trace a skip trace, you know? Yeah. All righty. Thank you. Boom. That was gold nugget for anybody watching right there. Good stuff. What up Taylor Pugh? I see you guys, all you studs out there jump in here with us. Bernie, Christina, Mike, Gazine, what questions do you guys have? I'm pretty good. I just need, I just need, I just need to dial more. That's all. <laughs> but we'll see. I, next week should that that should ha happen because I'm finally getting my place in order, so things are starting to settle down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Too. I'm gonna come out there and visit you in Florida, bro. Hey, come on. You're more than welcome. Kazim, talk to me. Yeah, um, yeah, same as Mike. I just need to dial more, more consistently. I'm, I'm also curious as to what Mike said about he's doing like some sort of like rehab or something without any cash down. Did I hear him correctly? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm borrowing the money for uh, for the rehab. You know, so so I'm getting the house for zero, and I'm borrowing the money for the rehab, and then I'm going to give the money back for the rehab plus ten percent. When I either sell the house or if I refinance out and I decide to keep the house and then put a tenant buyer in or rent it out. So then I just cash them out at that point. 
So the owner of the house gets cashed out either when I refi or I sell the place. The, the person that's putting up the money for the, uh, for the renovation is doing the same thing. So uh, Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know DJ Thielen, former Major League Baseball player, good friend of mine, and just a stud when it comes to investing. Bro, I was just giving you a hard time. I know you're busy, man. Thanks for jumping in, man. <laughs> I had to, man. I got to listen to my boy. What's up, man? Hey, real quick, uh, Gazim and DJ, you can even talk about this. I know that you're big on on the uh, um, commercial and or like lending side of things. You know a little bit more about creative finance than I do. But Gazim, at the end of the day, you know, let's say that you find that honey hole, right? Like the typical wholesale deal, 50, 60 cents on the dollar, but you find one for 30. You call guys like me or Mike or DJ or Vic up and say, hey, I've got a deal. It's a home run. We give you the money. You get the house under contract. You just pay us our money back with a small fee. You're not out any money. You didn't use any of your own. You just took all the risk, right? We took a little risk financially, but we know it's a good deal and we invest in you. We invest, you see what I'm saying? And, and obviously there might be some betting, but that's how you do it with no money out of pocket. And that's the quickest, shortest version, but. Bro, it's not every it's not every day, REI Results Academy. You have a rock star just jump in for the hell of it. You've got DJ Thielen in the house. What's up, man? How you been? Doing great, man. I just I just got off a, a podcast that I spoke on. And so I uh had, had a little time, man. I was gonna go grab some lunch and I, I saw you were on, man. I thought I'd jump on. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Well, if you want to stick around, great. If not, hey, I appreciate you either way. Lee Jones, we've been talking about you. I see you watching us. We celebrated your big deal. You should come in and talk about it. But uh, DJ, what's new in California, man? Like, how you been out there? How you surviving through COVID, man? Talk to us. Dude, we're right in West Hollywood, man. We're right in the action, baby. I know, yeah. right? Uh-huh. Asking Zoom calls are normal now, right? Dude, so normal. Yeah, so normal. Hey, what, what are you guys talking about right now? Yeah, so this is actually my academy. We've got uh, we've got about 80, 83 active students right now. Uh, and this is just our live Q&A. Every Thursday, we do a live Q&A. And uh, it's usually right around 100 to a, 80 to 100 kind of re revolving. And on Thursdays, we get between 5 and 20 live. And we'll come back and watch the replay. But it's just Q&A, catch up. Uh, Mike's in Florida, Vic and Christina are here in Dallas. Gazim's in New York and Bernie, we're one with the bees out up in Michigan. And so we got guys from all over the country just come in, hang out and just part of the community, man. I love it, man. I love it. I haven't chatted with you in a while. So I just wanted to jump in, man, and and just uh, help, help, you know, add some value, man, however I can. I appreciate that. So you guys got another multimillionaire sitting in the room. So these this would be a great time to ask some questions. DJ, in the meantime, I'm glad that you did because I've got a list of people to reach out to here in the next 30 to 60 days. You and I need to catch up and do a podcast together because I've got a software that I'm going to give you for your program that's going to blow things out of the water. Yeah, for sure, buddy. Love it. Absolutely. Vic. Mike, Bernie, Gazim, Christina, this is your shot. If you're watching on the live, click the link up above. Just jump in and join us. I see you, Maria. You should join us. So, DJ, what do you specialize in? What's that? What do you specialize in? I spe is this Michael? Yep. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Um, I, um, you know what, man? Long, long story short, um, my niche is really uh, out of state. Uh, I created a niche that was more low cost, low risk, out of state properties for out of state investors. So um, started doing this uh, back in 2005. And then since then, uh, you know, done a few thousand deals. Uh, I've been doing it since 2000. Well, I started investing in 2005 when I sold a company and then um, just really carved a niche that was designed more around um, out of state for out of state as opposed to local for local, you know. Um, but but we we do like local. I think I think um, you know I'm big like like I I don't even know what you guys talk about, Bryce. But I'm big about hey how can I make money without using my own money? I'm all about using other people's money. Um, no matter how much money you make, I think it's it keeps your risk down. It keeps your your profits high. 
And so any anything you can do, any strategy, and I, I'm sure Bryce, I, I, I don't know, man, I'm clueless, but I think uh, you probably are big on that too, yeah. uh, right? No matter how much money you got, always try to find a way to OPM, use other people's money, have a strategy that you can use where, because there, there are, you know, ways to make money without <laughs> using your money, of course. And I, I'm a, I think that's a, it's so, it's so vital. I think a lot of people don't talk about it. You know, I, I heard someone the other day on, they were saying, man, you got to put at least, it, this guy's got a lot of followers too, Bryce. I forget his name. Even if I remembered, I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw him under the bus. Uh, well, maybe I would. But, uh, say, but, come on, bro. You're like me. You probably would. <laughs> I probably would. I probably would. But, but no, he was saying, you know, you need at least 30% down and this and that. I'm just like, man, you know, there's, there's so much information, you know, I think that it's a good thing. And it's also a, t a bad thing because you got, you know, it, it does even grant, right. Who's a buddy of mine. So even grant will say like, Hey, if you don't, I heard him say before, if you don't got, if you ain't getting at least a 30 unit, don't even, don't even start investing. Like I, like personally, I, I completely disagree with that. I think like there's so many ways, there's so many people saying you, you know, you should do this. This guy says you should do that. That lady says you should do that. And there's so many angles that people are talking about, but I think no matter what you do, I think it's huge to, if it's wholesaling, if it's, if it's flipping, I, I'm, I'm big about never using your own money and trying to do things where you can leverage. Um, and I don't know, Bryce, if you guys only do uh, like uh, are talking about wholesaling in here. Most, mostly, yeah. So uh, a couple of our veterans like Vic and Mike um, have, have done and Bernie have done some flipping and seller and owner finance, things like that. But mostly what I teach because it's all of what I've done is, is wholesaling predominantly virtually um, as I've walked five properties and yeah, it's went up since you and I talked. I've, I've walked two in the last year. So, um, <laughs> but uh, completely virtual. And as of Friday, 7,347 homes closed with five virtual. So um, that's that's really what we talk about in here. And then Mike and Vic and, and Bernie have done some creative financing, flipping and things like that. We've got some other <laughs> that have done some of that as well. Um, and then like Azim and Christina, they're two of my newer students. And so they've got a lot of questions. They're still kind of in the baby step stage where they're being active and consistent, right? And they're just really getting their business started. And then uh, our friend Monica, I was just talking about her. So DJ and Monica, you both need to meet because DJ has got a massive real estate business and coaching program. And uh, yeah, you guys need to chat offline anyways. Um, so Monica is actually a business partner of mine in a company that she's going to actually talk about here for five, 10 minutes. And if you guys are interested in it, uh, we've added her business structure to our residential business and uh, it's, it's changing how our clients look at us and how they're perceived. So that's kind of the group that's here. Lee Jones that was uh, jumped on and off or still in, I don't know. Um, he's one of my, I call him my OGs, like the original guys when I started my, my coaching a couple of years ago. So, yeah. Awesome. What up, Monica? How are you? How's everybody doing? Drinking my lunch. No. <laughs> we're both on a fast. So we're looking at each other like, oh my God, I want to stick my face in that food, but we still yeah, Monica and I had a lunch and learn this, this earlier with a whole bunch of real estate agents and, and all this great Indian food from one of her friends that just opened a new restaurant here in Dallas. And we're just sitting there drooling and salivating and can't eat anything. So the mind the mind i was like just think about your bathing suit just think about your bathing suit <laughs> but yeah it was awesome to see you bryce yeah, see so this, you and give you a hug my god meet meet the millionaire man behind this the little nine-year-old yeah she's talking about cranston my nine-year-old so i love it i love it when he said you monica you there. sound like zig ziglar i'm like how old are you <laughs> I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> tell that story. That was that was impressive. That was a proud dad moment. Dude. So if I can celebrate a win with you guys, this was my win for the week. Go ahead, Monica, share that story. No, that's a Father Day's, Father's Day gift for sure. Um, so anyways, we're talking and, uh, you know, and he's 
you know, Bryce and I, it's actually the first time, talk about virtual never running through houses. It's like we're business partners building something super significant together and we've never met in person. But anyways, uh, so I meet his little boy and he's nine. I didn't know how old he was, right? He's pretty tall. So, and uh, we start talking and, you know, he's telling me all about his goals and how he raised a million dollars for um, feeding children and then less fortunate. And his goal is to become the middle school millionaire, right? So I was like, that's awesome. Because that's how I programmed my children too from very little. I mean, they've been little machines of programming. So, and so anyways, then after we're talking, Bryce and I, and he looks at me, he goes, you sound like Zig Ziglar. And I'm like, <laughs> Zig Ziglar is like 320 years old. And I'm like, what? I said, no, Zig sounds like me. <laughs> but I was like, whoa. Bryce, great job, dad. Great job. <laughs> that was my win. Thank you for letting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my son's a hockey pro. So he'd be, he does. I mean, he's done all the Tony Robbins programs and everything at a very young age to be a hockey pro. It's all mindset, but you know, never at nine, he would tell somebody like, you know, you sound like Zig Ziglar. <laughs> it was pretty I love awesome. how he turned that around. You said, no, Zig sounds like me. He goes, Ooh, I like that. <laughs> he stole my line. He goes, I'm going to use that. When people tell me, hey, I'm going to tell them, no, Zig sounds like me. And I was like, you are awesome. So great job, Bryce. Appreciate great dad. Appreciate great that. dad moment. How about it? <laughs> thank you, Monica. I appreciate you. What's up, Kathy, Maria, Ryan. Thank you guys for watching. You guys should click the link up above and just jump in here and join the party. We've got a couple of multi-millionaires and billionaires in here on our Q&A call. Christina, you had a question. Talk to us. What was your question, lady? Yeah, my question was that I've been contacted by some wholesalers and I, and you know, in the past I was contacted, I don't really understand how do we work with another wholesaler? Like how, how So let me ask you this. Do you want me to coach you at like, two or three on the scale, or do you want me to coach you at like off the Richter scale, like an 11 on a scale of 10? Off the Richter scale. Don't work with them at all. You're just yep. getting started. You stay focused. Don't worry about the system. Don't worry about the systems. Don't worry about anybody else. Follow the process. So Sometimes it hurts. We want to talk to other people. Don't do it. Just trust the process. There's a reason why you know, McLean quit his job in nine months making six figures because he doubled his income, you know, working the process. There's a reason why Larry and his wife quit their job in six months, both of them to go all in in less than six months, right? There's a reason right. why Sammy Prado did 14 deals in his first 30 days in our program. Just trust the process. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Some days it's going to be uncomfortable, but you put your nose to the grind follow the process, lean on all of these guys and gals in the group and you'll have success. Trust the process. Don't worry about the systems and people. You do you and you work the process. DJ, okay. any, any thoughts on that? You've been in this business a little longer than I have. Hey man, I, I'm, a, I'm not an advocate. People say, hey, uh, DJ, what do you think? I got this perk. Well, it's so easy to chase, right? I'm, I'm, I agree with you, Bryce. When you're saying that, I'm thinking, oh my God. Yeah, I mean, co-wholesaling and because everyone you know everybody is is kind of jerking each other around like oh i got buyers if you got sellers we can do some deals and it sounds good i, I mean it right and everyone's probably like yeah, yeah i run into that all the time because they don't you're if you work directly with the seller and directly with the buyer you win um mm -hmm. you you work directly with if you're working with cash buyers if you're using i don't know whatever prop stream or i don't know whatever you're using but if you're using a software to get the cash buyers, you work with the cash buyers. If you're working with the sellers, you work with the sellers. Um, and because now you can control, you, you, you've got control of, of your energy and your time in the deal, right? Okay. So did I answer that right, Bryce? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, working with coho sellers, like like I listen, as far as selling deals, I'm not big. If if someone else had a deal, um, you know, maybe if they're if they're reputable, if you feel like, but but I'm I'm all about like controlling the outcome. And if you can if you are working with the buyer and you're working with the seller, um, you can control the outcome. So right. 
Yeah, okay. And you got to be careful too. And I'll, I'll add to what DJ is saying there. So it makes a little bit more sense maybe for you, if you didn't fully understand that, like if you've got the deal, why would you let someone else sell it? But if somebody right. else has got the deal and you can sell it, that might be a better opportunity, but here's the deal. The reason why I don't co-wholesale is two part one, because of our volume. I just can't look at anybody else's deals, but two, if they've got a bad deal and I put it out to my list, guess who that makes look bad? Both me. Yeah. Exactly. So what I would say, Christina, is if it's someone in our group, right? If it's somebody that's already working the same process, I'm not so much opposed to it so that you can, you know, get a quicker view of both sides of the table. But outside of like our group or someone, you know, like DJ that's got an amazing reputation and it's done hundreds of millions of dollars in business as well, right? Like I, I wouldn't just go and work with Joe Wholesaler Q Public off of a Facebook group because he said he's got buyers. Um, I, I wouldn't do it. Okay, because I had a, a lady contact me uh, while I was looking on the marketplace just doing some prospecting. I found there was a house. So anyway, I contacted her. She got back with me and she said she had about 10 houses in the DFW area. And I asked her if she was an investor. She said, no, I'm a wholesaler. So it was kind of like, oh, okay. She was about to send me all those leads. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And then I find out she's a wholesaler. So that's really why my question has come out on this one. Because I'm like, Run. You know, all the all the wholesalers right there every listen anyone that says anyone that talks real real big in this it is fake i mean that's if they're saying oh i've got you know a hundred deals i've got tapes i've got bank direct that they're you're they're going to waste your time okay i mean um yeah co wholesaling and working with people that um because the ones that are doing deals don't, you know, they're like, yeah, man, if you got a deal, I'm a buyer. I think understanding Bryce and you probably talk about this really getting clear on who is my, who is my client? You know, it's so, it's so, so, so important. Who is my client? Who am I going to spend time with on the phone? Right? right. And, and that's huge. That, that, I think that will really save you a lot of time. Cause I, I'm a giver, Bryce, a giver. You're probably a giver, Christina. And the yeah. people, us that love helping people, it's so easy for us to get sucked in and and spend so much time with people that um, are, are like aren't ever going to be a client. And I'm not saying like yeah. it's not good to sow good seeds and help other people. I mean, I, it, obviously, I'm all about that. But when it comes down to spending time in your business, really understanding like, hey, who is my client? And once you get really clear on who, um, like if it's a if it's a seller. Um, if it's a, if it's a cash buyer or investor, you start understanding if you're dealing with cash buyers, your clients typically are going to be somebody that is an individual, right? They don't, if they use words like I got a partner, um, let me talk to my partner. Uh, I, I work with a group if they're working with syndicates, things like that. These are all signs that they're probably not a client, right? These are like red, red flags, um, okay. right? So um, getting well, clear, I, yeah, yeah. Well said, well said. And you guys know, you know, Thank DJ you. put that much more elegant, eloquently than I do. I'm over here like you guys know, like we're picky about who we work with. We can only work with people that are serious about working with us. And that applies to our sellers. And once we've got the contract that applies to our buyers. And that's why we have the language that we do in the conversation for that same exact reason. So thank you for right. that, DJ. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Lee Jones. I see you, man. You want to jump in here, turn your camera on, unmute yourself, and uh, talk to us about that deal. And then, uh, Monica, I'll turn it over to you, lady. Lee Jones. What up, bro? What's up, man? Man, what deal, man? I don't know. How'd it go? <laughs> I was celebrating oh, for you. Did I jinx I you? Got yeah, man. You're cutting out. People have been sending me an uh, email. It's cut so out. I woke up this morning to off, text me. We'll you catch up. Huh? We'll catch up. You're cutting out really bad. 
All right, we got about 10 minutes left here. My friend and business partner, Monica's on here. Uh, her husband is a multi, multi-millionaire. Uh, the, the three of us partnered up on a project to help just kind of, I don't even know what the word is, really merge both my real estate organization and what they've been doing for a number of years to just add another stream of income to my real estate business, but also better serve my clients. So Monica, I appreciate you jumping on, hon. I know it was kind of last minute you asked. I'm like, sure, this is kind of our freebie Thursday, like jump in here. So take it away, lady. Oh, well, it's awesome. I'm so, I'm just so honored and thrilled to be working with Bryce. I mean, he has so much value to bring to the table, but I love the fact that he's such a servant leader. Like he just doesn't leave people behind. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big or small you are, you know, and when he says trust the process, I can tell you one thing, when someone has had great success in what they do, trust their process for sure. Now, you know, it's been really, really um, such a wild ride. We met through um, a mutual friend, a mutual business partner, uh, and, uh, you know, it was just, you know, hand in glove what we're doing together. And it's something that everybody in the real estate space can add value to what you do already. And not only that, I mean, you agree that you're always eating what you kill in the real estate space. I'm a real estate investor. So I understood residual income and the power of it. Okay. And through what our, what our opportunity, how we've you know, merged it together has been simply because we've been able to create that residual income. Now, without spending tens of millions of dollars you know, investing in real estate only. So diversification is huge. Now, uh, the other thing is, is that why I love working with people like you know, all of you fine individuals on this, on this line today is because it all comes down to mindset. Money and business is all about the mindset. Okay. It's all about what you can focus on and vision and, and get to it, right? Without action, there's nothing. So we got to put action behind it. Yet it doesn't have to be effortful. Okay. It has to be effortless and inflow, is what I always say. So when Bryce and I uh, got together, you know, it was just, you know, very, very, very fluid. He introduced some people to me, but you know, what our opportunity entails in short is really, really, you know, how many of you refer things out all the time in utility space? meaning you're all in the real estate space. So guess what? Every single one of those home buyers, they need electricity. They need internet. They need TV. They need home security. We can agree more and more people are putting that in. Even in apartments, I've been, I've been noticing people have been putting it in their apartments. Yet here's what I love, what we've done is we've created a concierge service. Now, what does that mean? It's your Amazon of utilities at your fingertips. And so what this has done to brokers, wholesalers like yourselves, um, anybody in the real estate space, okay? It's that low hanging fruit that you have in clients, number one. And number two, I mean, how many people do you know, like yourselves that are in the same space, right? And so what we've realized is a lot of people in your space, it's chase the next deal, chase the next deal, not chase, but you know, close the next deal, close the next deal yet you're not creating any residual income unless you're the actual investor. So what we have to offer here is something that you can put together and it's worked so perfectly, property management companies. And not only that, here's what we've noticed. The reason why in 18 years, this is what we've noticed, the reason why uh, realtors or anybody in that space, wholesalers, are not creating or generating more is because you just don't have a big network or you don't have a platform of human beings that you know without going to join a country club, et cetera, et cetera, right? Meeting people. And so it works hand in hand here because now not only are you working, enlarging or adding value to your business through residual income, through utilities, you're also expanding your network. I mean, we've got 96,000 people that are independent. Uh, well, my husband does, but are independent business owners in our opportunity. Can you imagine being open to that? It's huge. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Bryce, just today, there's probably 10 or 12 people in there that he just shook their hand and said, hey, go on, follow me here. Guess what? They're going to go on this. They're going to go on his leading through change program, et cetera, et cetera. So it really works together. But what I'm going to do is take five minutes, if you permit me, to just share with you very briefly on exactly what we're doing, 
how we do it. And again, we have a system like Bryce was talking about and a process. And if you just do it and trust it and work hand in hand with us, you, it could be extremely lucrative for you. And not only for today, but imagine just creating a six figure a month residual income over time with something you already have in your hand. So I'm going to get really one thing. So these are all investors, whether they're new or seasoned, they're all investors, not Perfect. agents. Okay, yeah, fantastic. Licensed agents. And one of the reasons why this is so important to you guys is because one, as you build your business, you're only going to meet more people that this will benefit. And two, if you've got somebody that's in need of selling their house, guess what? They probably need to save some money. And we can all probably agree. I can see the light on, on five of you, right? Like you all have utilities on. We have internet because we're on this call. And you probably have heat and air in your house. And you probably, I know all of you do because I've called you on it. You have a cell phone and you probably have cable TV because you also have internet. So you've got five services that you're paying for right now that with the program that I partnered with her on, you could one, I know she can't, but I can save money. <laughs> I can say that she can't because of her rank. You're probably going to be able to save some money on your own bills, number one. And number two, if you know a friend or family member or wait, every single person you're sell that needs to sell their house that needs to save money, tell them about the opportunity. And guess what? Now they either become a customer or a business partner and they save money on their gas, lights, cable, internet, home security, cell phone, and so forth. So Monica, take it away. And oh, then yeah. uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to play a quick video, guys. It's about a minute and a half, and then I'll get right into the information. I'll yeah. show you the information, and then I'll show you how we make money, okay? It won't be long. Oh, oh, good. You made me co-host. I'm on it, lady. <laughs> Not your first ride at this rodeo. <laughs> I love it. Right now, someone is watching TV, shopping online, sharing on social media, scrolling a news feed, cooking, turning on lights, texting, paying with a credit card, and someone is definitely making a phone call. Now, imagine earning income through your very own business every time a customer pays a bill for services they're already using anyway. With ACN, you can. With a 27-year track record of success, ACN is the largest direct seller of telecommunications, energy, and essential services in the world. Today, we operate in 27 countries and have offices throughout North America, Europe, Latin America, Asia, and the Pacific. We're constantly evolving our portfolio of products to stay ahead of what millions of consumers and every day. Now, ACN has added identity theft protection through ID Seal to its suite of essential services. Thanks to ACN's innovative mindset, we're just getting started and the world is taking notice. Inc. Magazine also recently recognized ACN as a private titan, a designation reserved for the largest and most iconic privately held companies in the world. This is your opportunity to establish your very own ACN business, offering the essential services that people and businesses already use every day, and an opportunity to get paid every time they pay a bill for these services. It's your life. Imagine earning an income on your own terms. That's what ACN is all about. And now you can be a part of it. Awesome. So that gives you guys a little brief, uh, you know, interlude of who the company is and what we do. And, you know, ACN is an unbelievable company. So what ACN is looking for is business partners, just like myself and Bryce and everybody else that we've brought on board. But let's look at the company. We agree we need to evaluate the company together. So the company has been in business for 27 years, since 1993. We're in 27 countries right now, over five continents. And in the last five years, the company has yielded over $4 billion in sales. So we can agree that this is a good company to partner up with, just rock solid, okay? Now, here's those services I was talking about. So what they've done is created um, a portfolio that we could just plug and play. Now, we can agree that no matter what's going on out there, fascinating events in the last little while that we have zero control of, yet like Bryce was saying, we didn't cut our cell phone, we didn't cut our internet, we definitely didn't cut our electricity, 
and more and more people are putting in home security. So just those four things right there is unbelievable and very profitable. And you're referring them out all the time anyways, might as well get paid on it, right? That's how I looked at it. Now, the first, uh, first thing we have is wireless. We're partners with Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T. So you can offer that. You can market that to your, your clients. Uh, High-speed internet. We've partnered up with AT&T, Spectrum, and Frontier. Uh, you can bundle that with TV. We have Dish and Direct as well. Electricity, that's a big one. Uh, Zoom Energy is our company. We offer that in everywhere it's been deregulated in the U.S. and Canada and a, a, a bunch of com uh, countries in Europe apologize. And we also have home security partnered up with Vivint. I'm sure you all know people who swipe credit cards, any of those merchants, they can become your partner, your customers as well. And the last one's ID theft. So identity theft is a huge thing. Everybody's remote. Everybody's from home, remote, working on the kids, etc. So we created this product last year, actually. It's called ID Seal. And here's a value that I didn't even realize. It was one of the one of the large brokers out that I have in California that joined my team. Um, he actually makes every single one of his clients and has been for the last seven years get this um, protection. And here's why. Every, the last thing you want when you're working on a deal, okay, like Christina was talking, I mean, what Bryce was talking about with Christina and your buyer, seller, and facilitator or whatever in the middle. Now, what happens is, God forbid, something hits their credit right before transaction or right before closing, I mean, that's it. Your, your, your transactions dissolved. So this, this gentleman who owns this brokerage for over 30 years, he actually makes his clients take this product. And you know what? They don't leave it. They don't leave it. And the reason being is because more and more people need this protection. So, but let's just go to energy for a second. You get 10 energy customers, electricity customers. Uh, your electricity at home is free. So that's just a perk they give us as business owners here. Now, how we can offer the same quality products, the same name brands, the same everything, because we're partners with the big companies, is we don't do any advertising. This costs companies millions of dollars every single year because we don't do that. And we go directly to the consumer. There's millions of dollars left on the table. So we save the customer money. And then they divvy out a piece to all of us for acquiring that customer. Referral marketing. You, we all do it at the same time, right? We're all networkers, no matter what it looks like. Now, to buy the franchise is a one-time cost of $199, but here's what they give us, okay? They're going to give you a website, completely yours. It's going to have your name on it. They're going to take care of it. It's going to have residential and all the services of residential and business on there. So it's your Amazon of utilities. Now, here's what I love about that is the fact that I don't have to take care of that. I never had to sign any of these contracts. I didn't have any overhead. I don't have any of that. I don't have employees. I work from the comfort of my home. And ever since this COVID thing happened, we're 150% from home where before we weren't, okay? So it's been super simple transition. It's awesome. Now, that's the website. It also gives you the license to broker all these services across the 27 countries that we're in. The other thing that they do that I never want to do again in business is two things. They take care of all the customer service, all the billing, all the tech support, all that heavy lifting. The company takes care of it. Our only thing here, the only thing we do here are two simple things. We help people save money so we get customers, but then we got really good at this part is where we teach people how to make a lot of money with this opportunity because we have a system in place, okay? Now, let me show you how the money works. When I was talking about that residual income and you can all appreciate it because I'm sure you're all, you know, we all look for more residual income, at least I do. Now, here's how it works. Personal residual income. Every time someone pays a bill, ACN will pay you up to 20% of that bill every single time. So imagine all the closings you've had in the beginning. I mean, Bryson's talking about 7,300 7, closings. Now, that blows my mind, and it probably blows his before he started with us, because imagine if all those customers were his paying at least $400 in utilities a month. That's a lot of money left on the table, right? Someone's picking it up. Well, now you can pick it up. So that's the first way we make money. The second way we make money, it's simple. They pay us on the upfront as well. So you accumulate five services. They give you bonuses for that while your residuals are growing in the back end, okay? So five services is not five clients. I'll give you an example. My house alone, me, myself, I have Verizon cell phone. I have Vivint Home Security. I have the internet. I also have Dish TV and ID seal protection. So I haven't even left my front door 
and I made, they cut me a check of $200. I have never had a business. I'm a multiple business owner and investor. I've never had a business in my life that I could pay off in literally 30 minutes. It makes perfect sense, right? Now, overriding residual income is where you're going to get that time and money together. Okay. Very, very simple. How many of you know people just like yourself? Okay. That are out there making it happen. How many of you know people that are more influential in the community or more realtors, more wholesalers? I mean, all this network that you've accumulated, really, really simple. You invite, I'll present, we'll do a zoom call just like this. Okay. We, we do it all the time. We do it every hour on the hour. Now they'll go on your team. Okay. And so by them going on your team, now you'll make 4% on all of their customers' bills. So I'll give you an example. I put 20 people one time in front of the opportunity. Four people got started immediately. Now, from those four fast forward, in my position alone, I'm not, I'm not talking about my husband because he's the number one in the company, but my position, and he's been doing it 18 years. I've only been doing this for three. But in my position alone, I have over 1,200 business partners that brought in 9,000 customers. Now, I didn't go get those customers, okay? I just built distribution. And by sharing this opportunity and following the system, it happened. You know what I'm saying? So that's the second way we make money. And trust me, that is where you're going to get lifestyle from. And you can be the bank. You can be the money owner now. You know what I mean? My husband's the bank, meaning he invests in wholesaling all the time with people like Bryce and, and his partners as well. He's always open to looking at the deals. Why? Because he makes so much residual income that he can invest in all of that. You see what I'm saying? So it's really, really a great way to integrate this into what you do. And then you can obviously be the bank through your residual income. Now, they also pay you upfront anywhere from $50 to $150 every time someone comes onto your team and gets a few services. You know, they pay you to build your business. And I love that part of it because I love the fact that they pay heavy on the front. They also pay heavy on the back. Now, it's really, really simple. Our system is bar none, okay? And I'll share with you why. In the last 14 years consecutively, my husband's team and well, him and his brother, okay, because of the team, of course, but because of our system have been the number one senior vice presidents with the company for the last 14 years. Now, I always tell people get to number one, but then sustain it <laughs> is another thing, right? You could sell 173 homes this year, but you got to go do that again next year. So we agree that there's something there and it's the system. The system is simple. It's get started. Okay, so we always tell people, let's get you signed up. And then we have a training every single night at 7 p.m. Central. So 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm not sure what time zone everybody's in, but let's just say Eastern. So it's 8 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, now people sign up, they hit that training, and then I'll personally coach you and work with you, give you the language on how to bring a group of people on a Zoom. I'll do the presentation. Now it's that simple. So you invite I'll present. And then we just continue building from there. But here's what I love. You have the already the low hanging fruit of the network and your customers, number one. So you can build that residual really, really quickly. And number two, wouldn't it be awesome to override every single person you know that has never heard of this, but they can bring in a lot of customers. And so I did that with a lot of property management companies, um, the owners, actually, they were like, you mean I can make 20% on my tenants of what they're already using? Yes. Hold on a second. And then if I introduce other, other property management companies that right now are my competitors to this, I can make 4% on all of theirs? I'm like, yes. So I ended up signing up one guy. He owned 1,600 units, single units. And uh, he's thrilled, obviously. But he's like, I'm a small guy compared to a lot of these other guys. And he introduced me to a guy in Chicago that had 8,000 units. I was like, oh, my Lord, I didn't even know. <laughs> and so it opened my eyes to another world. But that's why we focus in on this niche, because it is, I mean, it's bringing residual to you and your family, number one. But you're also separating yourself from the pack in the sense of, imagine just telling your, your home buyer, Mrs. Smith. I'm going to set you up with you with my services. I'm going to set you up with your internet, your TV, if you choose, your electricity or gas, depending on the state, and your home security. Now, home buyers experience just went through the roof. They're super excited, number one. And number two, guess what they're going to do? 
they're going to refer you to other people because they were so satisfied. But not only that, they're going to refer customers to you as well because our rates are so low. So, and where we got this idea from, just to close up, is I'm sure you're all familiar with JP Associates if you're in the DFW area. Well, the owner of JP Associates, one of our business partners, actually uh, Bryce met him, well, met him in person today, KG, um, he, he introduced us to the owner. And so when Michael did the presentation, the owner started laughing. He says, why are you laughing? He goes, Michael, come here. And he opened up a door and it was a full on call center in his brokerage. And he says, do you see this call center? And he said, yeah. He goes, I've been doing this for the last two years. And he goes, and Michael, in the next two years, I'll be making more money out of that call center than I will over my 1600 agents selling houses. Now his call center cost him close to $9 million to set up and he offers all these services. So the second one of the uh, customers, I'm sorry, clients hits the CRM, it goes straight to the call center. They call the client and set them up with all their utilities between the contract and the close right in that lull. They set them up with all their utilities. So now it's an ongoing, they're making more profit per transaction because why? Now he's making residual income. But here's the other thing. Tenants move out or they sell their house. They take their services with them. And if it's a tenant, that's a revolving door because there's new ones coming in that you are going to set them up with their house. They're all the utilities. So it's really, really, really such a simple thing. It's click and order. Um, they've put it in a package. And that was the other thing that he said. He said, that cost me 9 million bucks. This would have cost me 199. I want to kill myself right now, but I'm too deep in it. So that's where we had our big aha moment over a year and a half ago. Why are we not just working with realtors and wholesalers and people who get it? <laughs> and so hence why it's, you know, 20 X in the last year and a half. And we're just having a great time doing it, meeting people like yourselves and Bryce. And so, um, you know, there's two types of people. There's a person that says, you know what, this makes perfect sense. Just like it did for Bryce and I, and, you know, I'll get in contact with you. If you, you know, just text uh, Bryce, Bryce will put us in contact. Um, or if you want to take my number down real simple, it's 214. 422-7553. And I'll be more than happy to go over with you exactly how this is done, exactly what we do. The simplicity of our system is people get signed up, they hit up the training. We personally work with you and coach you on how to put a group of people together on a Zoom just like this. You invite, I'll present and then we take it out from there. And so thank you, Bryce, for having me on the line. These are a great group of individuals. I'm excited to, uh, you know, to partner up with anybody who's ready to go. We're, we're, we're excited. We've got lots going on. And, uh, you know, in this whole uh, pandemic and everything else that's going on, there's always a, a rainbow at the end of it. And I think it's just brought us all more close together to work. So I'm super privileged. Thank you. And I appreciate everything that you do. Two things, Monica. Repeat yes. your phone number again. 214 Yep. 422 7553. Perfect. 214 And let her know that uh, you are on the call with myself and the REI Results Academy and Monica will take care of you. Um, and the second thing I want to mention why this was a no brainer for me. Two reasons. One, I did this like 12 years ago and I forgot about it when I went through all of my crap after my wife passed away and I let my, my account basically go away. And when I heard about this a couple months ago, I was like, oh, I forgot about that. And so I was like, it was a no brainer. I jumped in number one and number two, how I use this, like she was mentioning every time I'm talking to a seller, whether I do a deal or not, guess what? As a concierge service to you, we want to help you save money from this point forward. And we go ahead and ask them who their utilities are, who their cell phone bill is. And if they would be interested in saving money, hey, I'd love to talk to you more. And of course, eight out of 10 say yes. And we just go ahead and plug their information right into our office website. And we sign them up on a new cell phone plan, or we switch over their utilities from the house that they're selling us to the house that they're moving into, whether they're renting or buying. And it's just part of our, our back end process to add an extra 30, 40 bucks per customer. So you do the math, right? Like even if it was 20 bucks times a hundred, that's an extra two grand a month 
that we'll get forever. Yeah. And every month we'll keep adding that two grand. And so it was a no brainer for us. It's like, I'm talking to a customer. They need to save money. I can do that. Oh, and I'm going to buy your house. Well, let's just go ahead and transfer utilities, phone, internet, cable, all of that to your new house. Where are you going? What's the address? Do, 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 do. And it's part of that concierge service so that they don't have to worry about that. So I'll just show you guys real quick to, to touch on that, Bryce. Thank you for that. Um, so guys, your website will look like this, really, really simple, except your information will be here. So it'll be, let's say Bryce McKinley right there. It'll have his business number on there. It's his link, it's his URL. And you, if you're you techies out there, I have a guy who's super tech. He managed to put it right through his system. So it's it just goes right to the services. But look how simple this is. So I'll give you an example, okay? Let's say your customer needs electricity. It's really click and order. Trust me, if I can do this, you can do it. <laughs> I still use an agenda. All right. What's the zip code in you that you have, Bryce? Example. 75070. 75070? Sure. Great. So we'll take this zip code right here. And then you just take fixed plans. So I always put them in a Sherlock 12. People are comfortable with 12 months. You just click on choose. Now, you don't even need like any other information other than their address, which you have anyways, then the next page, okay, will be legitimately will be just their name, their phone number, their email address, and if they want a paper bill, auto bill, and then you press submit, and there's your customer. So I did just to touch on this, I did it this with one of uh, Bob Mortgage, who is a uh, phenomenal, you know, Bob Johnson, he actually... That's what he's done. He's created this concierge service and then started introducing people to us and built a team. Yet I did one of his clients and we timed it because I'm all about being efficient. And so it took 27 minutes and here's how the conversation went. Hi, Leslie, this is Monica. I'm calling on behalf of Bob Johnson. Yet uh, I'm here to set up all your services for your brand new home. And she was like, oh, thank you. I'm so thrilled. So I literally went on here. We set up her electricity. We set up her television, her internet, her home security, and it took 27 minutes. So think about that, guys. 27 minutes to set up somebody's four uh, utilities, her four things. But here's where the reaction came and where I was like, this is so incredible. She was like, you have no idea. I have five kids, three dogs. I'm a first-time home buyer. I'm freaking out. This took weeks and hours off of my mind i'm so this is unbelievable i'm saving even more money so she was thrilled well from that one action of 27 minutes guys here's what happened she's already referred five clients to bob for a selling home okay for the mortgage and his wife's a realtor so she sold sell their homes but there was a couple aunts and uncles in the mix there because she's a, of a latin background that were like, we want to save on our electricity. They were paying way too much. So not only did he get five listings, he also got more customers through the family because of course, what else are they talking about? Oh my God, I got this cheaper, right? So it's really, really hand in glove with what we do. I just wanted to show you guys what your what the website would look like. And uh, like I said, it's click and order. It's your Amazon of utilities. It's brilliant. I love it. So Calls all yours, Bryce. Thank you for the time. I'm so grateful for you. Hey, quick um, question. Yes. Uh, if if you have an if you have an existing contract, are you able to transfer people that have existing contracts into this? Yeah. Great question. Yes. The answer is yes. We have ways around that. So yeah. The answer is yes. Now there's some contracts. I'll be very honest with you because I'm super transparent. There's some contracts that we cannot, but very far and few between. The majority, yes, we can work around them. A great question. Yeah, absolutely. I think I was actually involved in this company like 10 years ago. Really? <laughs> yeah. When the video yeah. phone was around and they've come a long yeah. way. How about it? <laughs> I'm telling you, I remember Zoom. They said, yeah, they're coming out with Zoom, uh, the power company. And I guess I think it was in Texas, as a matter of fact, I think it was. Yeah. Out there in Texas and then it wasn't in Florida yet, but they're working on the ballot. Yeah, exactly. Well, before Zoom, before real, us. Real quick, Monica, two things. So 
one, I have to go. We got basketball practice yep, no in like 15 minutes. Number two, Mike, this should be a no brainer for you, especially since you're going to get your, you're getting your license and we're opening the brokerage in Florida because we already do this. So you get in now, any customers we bring in in Florida, guess what? They're just going right underneath to you, brother. Yeah. So, and you already heard it from her. It's not very many network marketing companies. And I, you know, whether you're a fan or not, I, it doesn't matter. Like, choose not to do it. I am. It's just added income. But every deal that we ever do in Florida is going to go underneath the view moving forward. So I mean, that's a, that's a no brainer for you, in my opinion. Sure. And like you, I did it like 12 or 13 years ago. I was making four, like four to $6,000, depending on which months it was because of the different bills. And I lost that because I stopped it and I forgot about it. And and now it's building that back up. That was just residual, you know, four to six grand every month and I didn't have to do anything. So, um, but yeah, if you guys. That makes sense, that makes sense especially for our industry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So if you guys want to be a part of this or, or want to know more, just shoot me a private message. Hey, Bryce, I want to talk to you and or Monica about ACN and I'll connect you with Monica and, and you guys, she'll take it. She'll set everything up for you. It's super, super simple. I mean, 25 bucks a month and 200 bucks up front, you get five services. You got your money back. That's turning on. That's changing your cell phone bill to save money each month, your utilities, your whatever, 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 right? Like, as you can tell, I don't even work the business and I love it. <laughs> so I can't even talk educated. I'm just going to tell you to talk to Monica. And it's not very often that you get to talk to number one, two, and three in companies like this. Like her, her husband, her husband's brother are one, two, and three in the company. So you, you don't get a closer connection to the money in an organization like this. So I love you guys. Gazim, I'll see you tomorrow. If uh, you guys are on my calendar, yes. Gazim is the only one I see for tomorrow. So Gazim, I'll see you tomorrow. The rest of you, do not miss Tuesday. Like share it out. Like tell other people in the academy because for you guys, my paid students, not you guys watching for free, but you guys that are in the academy, we have the number one hypnotist and mindset coach in the world. Tyler, the hypnotist, Tyler Snub is going to be in guest speaking on Tuesday. You do not want to miss this conversation. So he's going to come in as our guest speaker this month and uh, he's going to wow you. He's pretty fantastic. So thank you, Monica, for your time. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Good weekend, thank guys. You. Take care. Peace. Thank you.